Forsake me, God, O Lord, my God, be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. My dear sisters and brothers, acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you nourish us with your body and blood. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us and write to the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faith will offer you, write and praise word this service, grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, brothers and sisters, we are the circumcision, we who worship through the Spirit of God, who boasts in Christ Jesus and do not put our confidence in flesh. Although I myself have grounds for confidence even in the flesh, if anyone else thinks he can be confident in flesh, all the more can I. Circumcised the eighth day of the race of Israel, the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrew parentage, the observance of the law of Pharisees. In zeal, I persecuted the church. In righteousness based in the law, I was blameless. But whatever gains I had, these I have come to consider a loss because of Christ. More than that, I even consider everything as a loss because of the supreme good of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. It's the word of the Lord. Response or sound, your response, let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he uttered. Let our rejoice who search for the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, and sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. Let hearts rejoice who search for the Lord. Hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Hallelujah, oh, hallelujah. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, this man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. What a man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? 
And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman having ten coins and losing one would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it? And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found a coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. To this Gospel, Jesus tells two parables. We heard the parable of lost coin and the parable of lost sheep. This parable expresses joy of somebody or something that has been lost and found. So Jesus with this parable expresses the joy when a sinner who repents. There is joy in heaven when one sinner who repents. Jesus tells this parable in response to the accusations of the scribes and Pharisees. Because scribes and Pharisees, they were self-righteous. They consider themselves holy people because they are the ones who strictly follow the law of Moses. So for them, they were holy people. And they distanced themselves from the sinners. And here comes Jesus, welcome sinners. That's why they were saying, if this teacher who considers himself holy why is mingling with sinners? That's why the accusation that Jesus is mingling with sinners. But Jesus said it very clearly, I came not for the self-righteous, but sinners. So my dear brothers and sisters, I think today will remind us of our goal, our reason while we are here in this journey. Last Sunday, we celebrated the solemnity of all saints. Not only those saints that we know, but we also remember those saints that are known to us, but they are in heaven. Why they are in heaven? Because of humility. Although saints who are in heaven, they were not born saints. They were like us, sinners. But they were humbled. They humbled themselves before God and repented truly of their sins and accepted the mercy and love of God. So we are still in this journey. We are sinners. Remember always that when we repent from our sins truly, we remember that there is joy in heaven. The angels and the saints in heaven, they are celebrating great peace and there's atmosphere of joy because we repent. We ask the Lord for the grace because only with His grace that we are able to do it. Today's first reading, we heard from the letter of all the Philippians. Paul, he was a persecutor, but when Jesus called him, that encounter on the way to Damascus, and his life was never the same again. And repented from all his sins and to the process, he had realized that everything that he gained was nothing. Everything that he gained for him, there's nothing compared to the joy that experience would accept that our Lord Jesus as his Lord and Savior. Let's ask St. Paul to intercede for us today so that we are able to turn away from sins and accept our Lord Jesus because as 
The psalm says, the refrain, let hearts rejoice and search for the Lord. Let's pray. With confidence, let us offer our prayers to our Father in heaven. For the leaders of the church, may the Holy Spirit work to them in seeking the lost and welcoming the outcast. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord. For our national and local leaders, may they be blessed with the compassion of Christ in their attentiveness to the needs of the most vulnerable, especially the unborn. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord. For the sick, especially those struggling with chronic illness, may God bring them healing of mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For this worship committee, may God help us grow in faith, in appreciation of the unique gifts in one another. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom. By the communion of saints, let's pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. Let's pray for the intention of Robert Dusterberg, for which this must be offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. Father, we entrust our prayers to you in the holy name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your good have received this bread we offer you. Food of the earth, work in my hands, will become for us the bread of life. Let him just walk in one concourse, humble himself to serve with our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your good have received this wine we offer you. For the divine work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit, contrite heart, may be accepted by you, Lord. And may I sacrifice this side, say the blessing to you, Lord God. For the rest of my liberty, God's for my sins. For my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice of yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, you word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, to stretch out his hands as endure his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and the past resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory. As with one voice, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a fawn of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift of pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a twofold, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread to all the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May Mary to be coerced to eternal life and be praised and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, all is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and form by the divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be the name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace us your grant peace in our days, that by the help of our mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, said apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of the church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Love of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Have mercy. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. 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 Have Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my room, Alone the state of word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ keep the sacred life. Amen.
love of Christ, forgiveness, serve, call it down. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. Prayer for spiritual communion. By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the working of your power, Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace and love and serve the Lord. St. Michael, the Archangel, the Phanas, and Bada, be our protection against the weakness and errors of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and to thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, for the power of God, trust into hell, Satan, and all the old spirits who crawl about the world, to your souls. Amen.